patterns that authoritarian states follow. The surveillance, the forced drugging, the propaganda, the worship of the system, the state claiming that it's God and that, and that only you know, its needs should be met. Everyone else can basically starve to death or die for the state. Well, now the state, in their own word, is the bankers. Not your banker down the street that's integral to the economy and helps loan money, which is fine. The banker that's the mega globalist that issues the currency and credit, that can create a thousand five hundred trillion globally in the last twenty years of derivatives and then sign the people of the world onto it. True slavery, my friends, is Nigeria, if you can go look up the phase of loans they got starting in the 60s, getting a $2 billion loan and a $4 billion loan in the 80s, and paying, last time I checked, more than $40 billion on one $2 billion loan and more than $60 billion on the other loan. I know it was close to $100 billion they've paid on less than $10 billion in loans. $100 billion on less than $10 billion. And they're in greater debt than they ever were. They can never get out of it. And the globalists fully control the nation. <clears throat> That's what we're going under in America. Now, Nigeria never had a history of freedom. Venezuela's never had a history of freedom. But America's not been perfect, but it's been the model of freedom because you did have more freedom here on the economic index in the last 240 years than you've had in any other country. Now, we're dwarfed now by places like Switzerland and Luxembourg. But those are globalist command bases that they leave somewhat free for themselves as a get-out-of-jail-free card. And you can't move there unless you're stinking rich. I can't move to Switzerland, folks. I couldn't move to Switzerland. I couldn't get into Switzerland. So you need to understand something, ladies and gentlemen. This is a rigged game, and I, I talk about this constantly because if we don't realize it's rigged and that's the true form of discrimination and stop fighting over what color we are, it's over. It's over. And David Knight, he's going to talk more about this in about 10 minutes, but I wanted him to show the article first and just mention it. Here's Bloomberg today saying in Venezuela they sacrifice drinking water and medicine to pay bankers. Notice Hugo Chavez is gone, but he paid the bankers. And the bankers always fund communist and socialist fake revolutions. I'll guarantee you they've, they're in control of that guy. And they're in control of his new replacement. And David, show folks that article because this ties into parents having no rights and the state saying your kids belong to us. This is the exact system of where we have no rights. Only the government and the corporations have rights right out of James Kahn's rollerball. David Knight. Oh, yeah, absolutely, Alex. They've got a quote e even here from a Barclays banker who says, the government's priority is to pay the sovereign debt. Now, he's saying that even as they say in the article, 42 people have died because of food and medicine shortages since February. So... This is not something that is just limited to this particular government. They point out that under Hugo Chavez, they said he kept up, this is Bloomberg reporting this, Bloomberg.com. They say Hugo Chavez kept up payments to bondholders, allowing them to reap returns of 692% during his 14-year tenure. Almost 700% profits for these bankers, while his people are suffering economic hardship to the point of not even having water and trying to cross the border to get water and medicine. Absolutely. We're going to cover that more coming up in a few minutes. But, but here's the issue. Obamacare is not Obamacare. I love to call it that because he's unpopular. I can tie this monstrosity to him and hopefully we can beat it. But the globalists have passed the similar laws all over the world. And when you see something like Venezuela and 600 plus percent profits for the banksters, they come in, put a dictatorship in even before he got in power. And then when he continued and have them give them sweetheart deals where you give us all your roads and water and we only charge you 200% interest every couple of years and uh, then we double the prices. That's how so-called privatization works. I'd be for real privatization. The problem is governments are so incredibly corrupt over and over again that they are basically always giving us the biggest screw job because of the complexity of the world. The world's so big, we're destroyed by the bigness, by the complexity that evil and bureaucracy is able to hide behind. But bottom line, you cut government, 
you cut the taxes, you give the people more money, they can build an economy voting for quality. And you've got two different parallel free market systems running and what's left of that. And then you've got the socialism and the, and the corporate fascism above it taking credit for all that's good that free market created. Now, think about this. This is not just in Michigan. And it's a great article when I saw Paul Watson do it. But we need to have another article maybe Monday or something. And anybody can go search this. You know, just type in doctors told to talk to children about guns. And you'll have the White House denying it's going at Media Matters. But separately, you'll have Time Magazine coming out. Kids and guns, why doctors have a right to know. A federal judge overturns a Florida law stating doctors can't ask parents about guns in their household. A law that critics said was a sign of gun rights protection gone too far. Since when do you go to a doctor and they're asking about, do mommy and daddy smoke pot? Do mommy and daddy have guns? What do mommy and daddy say? Or do mommy and daddy not like the government? This is what they ask them. They have been turned into secret police. Most doctors I know don't want to be part of this. They should have a right. Since when does Michelle Obama tell kids what they eat? Again, my kids two years ago went to private school. We said, oh, we've been homeschooling a while. Let's send them to a Christian private school. Great private school, great people. But they're accredited, so they would send handouts back every month with worksheets with Michelle Obama on them. And they would have this, this, this training day about food where Michelle Obama videos were shown about what food they were supposed to eat. And I went and talked to the school, and they said, we're sorry, this is done everywhere you're a private school accredited. They're public schools now, folks. It doesn't matter. This is the total control. And again, it's UNESCO. They set the treaties. They set the rules all across the board to control the society and to control the curriculum. And again, folks, I'm broadcasting from my hotel room here, and there's light blasting through the window, bouncing off uh, literally of a pyramid building across the street. Uh, and uh, someone put my sunglasses on. Sorry, if I'm, not, I'm not doing it for James Bondy in effect, like the Secret Service. I'm just putting them on because I can't see if you're watching us on PrisonPlanet.tv or the free feeds for the daily radio show at InfoWars.com forward slash show. So this is an absolute screaming war against the people. And then in all the sitcoms, the dramas, the movies, you name it, if you don't like the state training your kids that secret police talk to them constantly, or you don't like the TSA training you to take your kid away where they're groped and psychologists admit it's pedophile training, if you don't like the checkpoints on the highways, if you don't like uh, the Tea Party being demonized as terrorists, if you don't like it, you're a weirdo, as classical authoritarianism comes in. But I notice when I Google search doctors ask kids about parents' guns, that I saw Media Matters, Huffington Post, and all of them up top, and Snopes, run by George Soros, is connected to that, saying there is no program to ask kids about guns. There's no man behind the curtain. There is no drone program. If you have a business, you didn't build it. Raising the debt doesn't raise the debt. You know, uh, two plus two equals five. I mean, literally, it doesn't exist, ladies and gentlemen. None of this is happening. None of this is going on. None of this is unfolding. And then meanwhile, from the other side, targeting their minions, they're saying, oh, yes, ladies and gentlemen, uh, of course, uh, we are, uh, you know, doing all of this. Uh, you know, of course, uh, uh, you know, we've got to ask about the guns for the children's safety. Uh, it's for your safety. It's no big deal. Please don't be a conspiracy terrorist. So again, just within that Google search, you can see the propaganda because then there's dozens of articles saying, yes, a doctor calls the police because a child said he was allowed to shoot guns. Child was 14. You're, you're, it's totally legal to shoot guns with your parents when you're 14. You can do it when you're seven years old, six years old. I know people personally in Austin, Texas, where the CPS has been involved and tried to take people's children because they own a ranch and they took the six-year-old the nine-year-old and the uh, 11 year old out shooting and the state got involved because the kid went and showed other kids photos of his dad shooting guns and they said you're with your dad shooting guns and the and the police get involved okay I, I mean I've told you nothing against them except they're calling the police on us it's always the same Californians think it's cheap to buy 10 acres for five million dollars you could buy 10 acres, you know, around Austin 
uh, set out in Dripping Springs five years ago for maybe uh, $50,000. Now it might be $1 million, $2 million, $3 million. Because the Californians jacked up the prices so much in their bubble, they came here. And so there's people with 200 acre, 1,000 acre, 500 acre farms and ranches that have been there for hundreds of years. And literally the Californians show up, you shoot your guns. This has happened to my neighbors, by the way, all of my neighbors. Hadn't happened to me yet. And the police come, the state police, Hayes County Sheriff's Department, and they say, sorry, we're going to go ahead and give you tickets or arrest you. Just your neighbor was scared. We're, you know, th this is America. And there is no law, but the Californians are kings of earth, as I've said, because they're there tattling. And in the police state, they've got to teach the public the only power you have is through the state. The only power you have is by sicking people on someone. <clears throat> so... It is a total takeover of society with the state saying your kids belong to us and the state saying we're going to take all of your freedoms. And it makes me absolutely, completely, physically sick to know that it isn't just Michigan, folks. They've been doing this by stealth, just like they've been taking our blood for 41 years worldwide, putting it in the U.N. database.